This is a comprehensive trailer walkthrough of what I would consider one of my favorite teardrop trailers on the market, the Aero Teardrop. Now as usual, stick around, I'm gonna share three things I like about this trailer and the things I think can be improved. I'm also gonna share the five trailers that I think are comparable to this in the market, but different prices, different functionality, just giving you a better understanding of what's out there for you. So hey everyone, I'm Brian with Aero Teardrops and today we're gonna to talk about one of our 2022 steel HC trailers. This trailer's name is Maple Kind. So all of our customers uh, get to name their trailer. So everyone has a unique name, which is kind of fun. So this is an example of our extended tongue option. The tongue on this trailer is about, oh, well, just about two feet longer than our standard tongue. And the nice thing about that is, is it gives you multiple options for storage on the front. This trailer has our tongue basket and a box. And inside the box is where we store the battery or multiple batteries, depending on the configuration. This has an XBN 360 a lithium battery inside the box. It's a 95 amp hour battery. Also has our um, swivel tongue jack, flip up tongue jack, if you want to call it, with the wheel on it, makes it super easy to maneuver the trailer around. It just pushes by hand. So if you're not that great at backing up a trailer, having that wheel is, is great. Uh, two inch ball on the front, and we'll move along the side here. Um, this is our optional spare side mounted spare tire. And this steel high clearance trailer has a standard wheel and tire package on it. So it's a Goodyear Wrangler tire, 30 inch all-terrain tire with a 15 by seven aluminum American racing wheel. So nice wheel and tire set up at the standard uh, package and a 14 gauge steel fender. Yes, you can stand on them. I'm more of a tire stander, but I'll show you, you know, you can hop up here, stand on the fender if you need to, to, to get to the roof rack, pull things out of the basket and whatnot. If you have a rooftop tent up here, it's nice to have another place to, to stand. This trailer also has our optional side mounted propane tank. And since it also has a Propex, it has a hard mounted propane system. And we'll, we'll walk over that or walk through that later. On the side here is our extended side table. We have two options for side tables. We have a standard length that's 26 inches. And then this extended length is 36 inches, passes back uh, past the back of the trailer for a little bit of added counter space. All of our trailers come with rear mounted stabilizer jacks. It's a nice crank down jack, really low profile, folds up out of the way, uh, less likely to get caught on things like a scissor jack. So this is an example of our classic cabinetry that we offer. We offer two styles of cabinetry. Our classic cabinetry has a five piece solid shaker door. This happens to have our rustic maple option, really classy looking cabinet doors. So instead of making two separate walkthrough videos, I'm gonna sneak images in here of their standard highway model. Now the model that you've been seeing has an upgraded cabinetry. The model that you see here with the aluminum sides, the model that I've been taking out, this is their standard cabinetry. It's using a CNC router, it's wasting less wood, I think it looks really good, and you don't have to pay extra for this design. But this also gives me a chance to show you the model that Aero Teardrops built for me. Now, long story short, not only was Aero Teardrops nice enough to build this trailer for me, they also decided to donate all the profits of this trailer to charity. So what that means is when I'm done taking this out, don't worry, I'll take care of her. They're gonna sell this to the public and all the profit is going to go to Adventures Without Limits. You know my background in adaptive physical education, that's what these guys do, or at least that's where they started. They help people with disabilities get out and enjoy the outdoors in the same way we all do, and we all should. But they've also expanded into helping people who have social economic barriers and other barriers from stopping them from getting out there. So I'll talk about it more in a future episode, but let's get right back into this walkthrough. It's nice big storage here in the back for your dry goods or plates, cooking ware, you name it. The shelf is adjustable to four different heights. So you can uh, configure it to hold just about anything. This trailer also will have our light leaf, drop leaf panel system on it. And this is the solar controller for that. All of our galleys have a 120 volt GFCI receptacle. And then this is your switches 
for water system and uh, overhead lights in the galley. Also have a voltmeter and a power port. 12 volt power port. Plug in all kinds of 12 volt gadgets back here. Below the counter, our optional cooler slide out. Pulls out nice and far. You can put a 45 quart Yeti cooler, fits perfectly in here, as well as the CFX 335 Dometic cooler. We built the space to fit both of them. And there's a number of other uh, coolers and plug-in fridges that will also fit in here as well. Every slide out cooler drawer is also pre-wired with a 12 volt power port. So if you decide not to do the fridge up front and add it later, you already have your 12 volt power back there to power it. Next to it is a nice big storage cabinet. There's a seven gallon water carrier inside. It's on a pull out drawer. Makes it nice because once this is full, it weighs about 50 pounds. So being able to lower it into the drawer easily without having to you know, fish it into, a, into the cabinet is really nice. Also getting it out here where you can use it um, is really handy too. And then it has a travel lock to help it stay put while you're traveling. And on the right here, two big drawers, 18 inches deep on ball bearing slides. They fully extend so you can use the whole drawer. Lots of storage. We try to you know, make use of all the space in our trailers so you have plenty of storage. And that covers the galley. And we can go inside. Oh, how can I forget? MapleKind is uh, equipped with our 21 gallon water system. So under the trailer at the center line of the axle is a 21 gallon water tank with a, an electric um, water pump. And the nice thing is, is you can fill this tank up with 21 gallons of water and because it's really close to the axle center line, it's not gonna affect your stability or your tongue weight. You won't really notice it once you're uh, traveling down the road. This is the inlet and outlet for the water system. It's all quick release hoses. This is a quick release for the propane system that connects to what the uh, on-demand hot water heater, which is inside this case. We'll open that up and show you. So this is an on-demand hot water heater. It all quick connects to the water system in the trailer. You get a nice, Nice hot, uh, nice hot water from this. You can use it, you know, to wash dishes, to take a shower, you know, lots of uses um, with this system. And on the roof here is um, our uh, roof rack option. So we use a rhino rack roof rack uh, as, our, as our roof rack um, system. Really robust uh, system. Vortex bars will hold a couple hundred pounds. This customer opted for the Thule roof basket. So this trailer comes with the optional Max Fan Deluxe roof vent that we offer. It's a 10 speed uh, fan, reversible. Also has a thermostat on it. So you can uh, turn the thermostat on, go on a hike. If your trailer heats up inside, it'll kick on and start circulating air. Another nice touch uh, with the steel all the steel models, steel and steel HC, is a standard Stargazer window. This is a dual pane window, so uh, nice, uh, helps with condensation and such, but standard on all of our steel model teardrops. And now let's take a tour of the inside of MapleKind. So all of our doors have deadbolt locks and lock them from the inside for security. They all have uh, sliding windows with screens, get the ventilation going through the roof vent really nicely, really nice cross breeze. They also uh, come standard with a porch light on either side. So you've got an LED porch light, both sides of the trailer and they both have their own switch. So when you have to get out in the middle of the night, you can light your way really nicely. Same with the ceiling light, each side has its own switch for its own ceiling light as well as some reading lights up here at the head of the bed. Reading lights do night light and uh, full strength for reading. Inside, 
Again, we have the upgraded, well not upgraded, so to speak, but the classic cabinetry that we offer uh, with the maple counter cabinet doors. This trailer also has a Propex furnace. So with the vent is there and the console, the thermostat is to the right of it and another 120 volt outlet, as well as a 12 volt power port. So standard on all of our trailers, uh, every model we build is a full electrical system. Uh, this trailer is equipped with a power center that controls the 120 volt side of the trailer as well as the 12 volt side of the trailer. And the nice thing about that power center is the, that the 12 volt side of it is auto detecting for whatever type of battery you install. So if you install a lithium battery on the trailer, it will, it will read that and change the charge voltage to accommodate the lithium battery. Or if you have an AGM battery, it'll also do that as well as a standard wet battery. We've got folding cup holders in all of our trailers, one on each side, nice for a cup of coffee in the morning or a water bottle at night. And these corner shelves also are standard in all of our trailers. Um, it's a USB port underneath the shelf there. It's iPhone sized, so um, yeah, so cell phone fits really nice there or uh, reading glasses, wallet, you name it. Yeah, so a really nice feature about the uh, interior of our uh, steel and steel HC is this interior table setup. We have these mattresses special made for us. They fold into a couch here at the front of the trailer. They also tumble out flat into a bed. So I'll show you how that mattress tumbles out first and then we'll fold it back into a couch and I'll walk through how the table sets up. It's really quick and easy. So the mattress just tumbles. It's all connected together. You don't have multiple pieces to worry about. It's just set up. It's a nice medium high density foam. So it's really comfortable to sleep on at night. You don't feel yourself bottoming out on the floor of the trailer, which is really nice, especially if you have like some bad shoulders or something like that. So me having bad shoulders, I sleep pretty well in one. <laughs> so you're just gonna pull the leg out from, from this footwell here. It plugs into the pedestal on the floor and then the pedestal underneath the table. And then actually to get in, it's just like getting into a car. You're just gonna slide yourself in and you're nice and comfortable inside. You can play a board game, eat a meal. If the weather's bad, it's a nice place to hide out. I'm about 5'11", I've got plenty of headroom. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a great option to have, especially in the Pacific Northwest where the weather can get foul on you during your camping trips. Now time for the three things I really like about this trailer. Number one, it's that fit and finish. In this trailer, I'm gonna tell you guys, there's nobody out there that's going to compete with this trailer in terms of price and fit and finish. Now, is it like a $40,000 trailer with leather accents and chromed out pieces? No, but for the price that you're getting, I don't think there's anybody out there that's doing any better. And number two, it comes back to price again. Now, many of you know this, when you hop on to a company's trailer building website, you get there and you see the base price and you're pretty excited about it. But by the time you put in all the components you need and you walk out the door, you're looking at 30, sometimes $40,000. Well, this one was a complete shock to me because I hopped in there. They already come with the Baltic Birch. They already come with a ton of features that they feel should be standard. So I put in every component that I thought was perfect for either a couple or a single traveler to go to all the BLM land, all the national forests, like the fridges and the fans and the stealth window and uh, suspension and all that, it came to twenty two dollars to $23,000. That's not the base price. That's what it came to with all the components. And as you know, when I go to another company, twenty two dollars to twenty three dollars is typically the base. And number three, number three, it's a teardrop. Uh, that's a that's enough said. If you go watch our walkthroughs, we have a lot of different styles of trailers. But when it comes to the end of the day, I'm always going to fall back on my love of a teardrop. I think no trailer does it better in terms of storage, in terms of usability in the field, maintenance, longevity, uh, how it works in inclement weather, how easy it is to set up and tear down. That's, it's a teardrop. Now, the things I dislike is very interesting. I've never had a video like this. And... Just let me explain to you. I went through Oregon and Washington and I hit every teardrop manufacturer I could find. I think I missed one in Oregon, maybe two. 
And every one of them were great teardrops, but there were things that I didn't like. There were things that I would change in the build. Now, when I came across Aero teardrops, I knew I'd find something because I was using this teardrop to go to all the other companies. So I was going to know this trailer intimately. By the time I got back to the shop, the only suggestion I could give Brian was just adding something under the hurricane hinge, uh, just kind of a best practice, but it doesn't impact the longevity of it. I really couldn't find anything wrong with this trailer. And so is this trailer better than the others in Washington and Oregon? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying they didn't try to reinvent the wheel. They didn't put anything weird on it. They didn't skimp on anything. I honestly couldn't find anything wrong with it. So to me, the only thing I can complain about is potential future pricing. Uh, talking to them with the price of birch rising and supply issues, I could tell they were ready to bump up the price a bit. I like the price where it's at. I think it's a great deal right now. The topple one has been discontinued and I think this is a great replacement for it. I would say it's the same on every level in terms of fit and finish, uh, functionality. I know you topple people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but very similar trailers, very good quality. If you like one, I think you will like the other. It is time for those five comparable trailers. The first one I think you should compare this to is the topple one. This is a trailer from Escapod that to me is top of the industry in terms of stick built teardrops. Now, unfortunately, Jen and Chris from Escapod just announced that they are retiring or no longer making this model and going all in on their Topo 2. But I think it's still worth looking into. You can pick them up used and it's also great to compare these two trailers. Now, speaking of the Topo 2, Another great route, as you guys know, all last season, we took out a bean trailer, very similar to the Topo 2 from Escapod. These are composite built trailers. Tons of benefits from composite. I'll put a link in the description of my bean trailer walkthrough, plus a video about why composites may be better than traditionally built teardrop trailers. Another option that'll save you a lot of money is looking at square drops. Very similar to a teardrop trailer, but per square foot, you're getting more usable space. I would suggest starting at hiker square drops or maybe runaway. Uh, I'd love to send you guys to Matt and Wendy's channel. I'll put a link to them. They are the hiker experts. And I'll also put a link to maybe three or four walkthroughs we have done of square drop trailers. Now, if you don't wanna go across the country to find yourself a trailer, Right in your home state, you probably can find the Tag Boondock. I will link the walkthrough below, but you can pick this up at any large RV manufacturer that carries smaller trailers. And then last, if you're looking for something bigger, if these trailers are just a little too small, check out the Colorado Teardrops Mount Massive. It comes with bunk beds. It's a bit bigger for a growing family. Link in the description as well. Right here is a list of our walkthrough playlist. Click on this, you're going to find some trailer that meets your needs. I almost guarantee it. For those of you who already have a trailer, thanks for coming along for the journey. I hope you found something interesting in this build that maybe you can add to yours or sparks a new idea. Stay safe on the road and we'll see you in the next episode.